Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and as always, like and comment. This is my tripod. I'm using it as a microphone. <laughs> this video is going to be what it feels like to withdraw from a class. Some background in high school, I just kind of powered through everything. Kind of like when you're running for a while, you just like can't think about it. You just have to do it. And there are times in high school where I thought I was going to fail, even though I like obviously wasn't but I just kind of like sat down powered through never dropped a class never dropped an AP never like always did the hardest course works that I can do I was so smart just kidding I was in a pressure cooker and that's why I am the way I am today anyway so college actually was a lot easier for me than high school or I guess the first year and so everyone was adjusting to college and I felt like I was like pretty set and like the workload was pretty standard and I had a lot more free time than normally and then decided to become a CS major. I mentioned it in other videos and the hardest CS class you had to take was called Advanced Programming at Columbia and I literally thought I was going to fail. I've never been more stressed my entire life. I wanted to drop it. I wanted to withdraw from it. I would call my mom crying. I hated the class so much. I did so bad on the midterms. The professor was so mean and but I ended up like getting through it. Did not do well. Got a C plus. My lowest great in college which I've mentioned in another video I think but I did it like I made it through. I was still studying CS. I was fine. I was like, all you have to do is push through. Like, you can do anything you set your mind to. Okay. <laughs> Last semester, I was in another class and I didn't think it was that hard, honestly, but I got a zero on the assignment and I, like, basically failed the midterm, which honestly, like, didn't deter me at all. Like, I was like, oh, I can still, you know, do well in this class. Like, I really, I either was, like, in denial or I just, like, knew that if you, like, keep your head down and keep going, like a plus a class but I was going through some medical issues last semester and it really was affecting all my classes I was in four classes and because I knew I had to deal with this and I had never taken four classes before I always took five so I was like this is so manageable like I can do this like I can do this class I can do anything I'm a superhero so that was going on blah blah blah, blah. I ended up getting an email from the professor that was like by the way you're failing this class and I was like what I didn't even know I didn't even know that you you for that and that's when I was like oh shit like I am actually feeling this class it just like was so unmanageable like I really just could not do it so I'm like okay I passed the job deadline I'm gonna have to withdraw and I really didn't want to withdraw I was like this is the most embarrassing I thought it was embarrassing I was like this is so embarrassing like I'm only gonna be in three classes I'm gonna have a W on my transcripts uh blah 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 okay so I go to withdraw the class and I can't because I'm only in four classes and they're basically like like, we can't let you withdraw and I'm like what and they're like if you withdraw you're gonna be below 12 credits and that's just not acceptable and my mom was like they have to let you withdraw like we, you go to this school and they were like no <laughs> this video is so funny I hope everyone laughs I hope you laugh at me not with me <laughs> Yeah, so they were like, no, you can't withdraw. And I was like, what? And I went to my advisor and he was like, if they said no, they is the registrar. If they said no, then it's a no. And I was like, what? And then I ended up going to my dean and I was like, please let me withdraw. And she was like, we really can't. Like you can either take a semester off, fail the class. The worst thing that can happen is you fail this class. And I'm like, shit. And then I decided to tell her about my medical issues and she was like oh oh my god like why didn't you just mention that in the beginning and I was like it was like why do I have to disclose this information to let you with let you let me withdraw from this class and then she ended up being like okay you can't withdraw but you can unofficially withdraw which you're allowed to do in special situations which includes like if you have a medical problem or like a really serious personal problem but you have to like register with disabilities blah blah, blah. I had to go through all these steps anyway so she let me withdraw and then I was only in three classes which is like a place you don't want to be in in college like you really never want to be in three classes so my advice is always take five classes in case you have to withdraw from one <laughs> this is it feels really shitty to withdraw from class I felt like I was a failure I thought I was so dumb I've never like in high school never had to do anything like that in college never had to do anything like that like I was at my senior year and I was like oh my god but also once I started telling people I had to withdraw from class people would open up and be like oh I also had to withdraw from class and I was like what no one wants to talk about it because you go to these really good schools and you don't want to seem dumb and you're like other people 
can do this. Like I should be able to do this, but you can't. Just kidding. You can always do it. Yeah. So then people started being like, oh, I also was shooting from class. Like it's not a big deal. And I really felt like I had this big secret that I got off my chest. <laughs> So that's my story, what it feels like to withdraw from class. Thank you for requesting this video after I told you to request it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm nervous about this video, please relate. Again, I guess my only advice is to take five classes, but that's such bad advice. I was like, I wish I was in five classes so I didn't have to go through this whole process of unofficially withdrawing. But if you have to withdraw, it's not a big deal. You'll survive. Even if you fail a class, who cares? We're in the middle of a pandemic. Intelligence is a fluid concept that could be measured in more than one way, so. Um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment. Okay, bye.